Behold the Octopus, written by Susan Slade, illustrated by Thomas Gonzalez. With love to Aunt Jean, Cindy, and Courtney, SS. Thank you to the researchers who strive to understand our planet and its inhabitants, and to my wife Noni and, our, and daughter Nina, who allow me the time to work on such wonderful books. TG. Amazing octopus! Eight long arms swirl and curl through salty seas. An octopus doesn't have a single bone in her body, but it does have one small beak, two eyes, three hearts, and eight graceful arms. Octopuses are found in every ocean of the world. The common octopus, Octopus vulgaris, is the most studied species. Perhaps that's because these beautiful octopuses hang out in rather shallow waters on rocky coastlines where scientists can easily find them. Hunting. Octopuses are clever hunters who often search for food at night. A hungry coconut octopus patiently waits for tasty snacks to swim by. Crab, shrimp, or fish. Then it pounces on its prey. The coconut octopus also hunts by foraging around rocks with its long arms. Sometimes it carries a seashell or a coconut shell for protection. Building. Most octopuses live alone. This solitary animal enjoys hanging out in its den, a hole or crevice inside coral or rocks. The big blue octopus, Octopus cyania, uses its powerful arms to build a den out of rocks. Sometimes it also fashions a rock door to keep other animals out and stay safe. The big blue octopus is a wanderer moving into a new place about every month. Gliding. An octopus uses water jets to push itself through the sea. It draws water into its body, then blasts it out through a tube called a siphon. The blanket octopus, Tremoctopus violaceus, <laughs> spends a lot of time gliding across the open ocean. If a female blanket octopus me meets predators on her journey, she may unfurl the gorgeous webbing between her arms to scare them off or dive down to deeper waters for safety. Changing. The octopus is an expert at fooling predators, changing its skin color and pattern to match its surroundings. This shapeshifter may even alter the texture of its skin to create the perfect camouflage. But the mimic octopus Thaumoctopus mimicus, has another amazing trick. It can modify its appearance and behavior to impersonate another animal, such as a sea, sea snake, lionfish, or catfish. Ooh, clever octopus. Grasping. An octopus has dozens of strong suction cups on each arm, which it uses to move rocks or catch dinner. These suckers also provide a sense of touch and taste to help it find food. The largest octopus, the giant Pacific octopus, Enteroctopus doflaini, weighs an average of 100 pounds, 45 kilograms. Its mighty suckers measure up to 2.5 inches, or 6.4 centimeters, in diameter, and each one can hold 35 pounds, or 16 kilograms. Hiding. When in danger, an octopus releases black ink to hide and make a quick getaway from predators. The ink cloud can also irritate eyes and disrupt smell and taste, which usually stops enemies from attacking. As the Caribbean reef octopus, Octopus briaris, briarius, cruises the seas, it's always prepared to squirt an ink black cloud of 
protection in case hungry fish and sharks appear. Luminous. The glowing sucker octopus, Steratuthis sirtensis, has small lights on the underside of each arm instead of sticky suckers. This rare deep sea creature uses these glowing lights to attract prey. Its reddish brown skin is translucent, so its internal organs are visible. Mm. Dangerous. Octopuses are carnivores. They eat meat such as clams, fish, and shrimp. After catching its prey, an octopus releases poisonous venom to stun or kill its dinner. The blue ringed octopus, Hapaloc. Cleania lunulata may be small, but it's very powerful. Though its body is around the size of a golf ball, about two inches, five centimeters across, it produces extremely dangerous venom, potent enough to kill people. When hungry, the blue-ringed octopus wiggles an arm to imitate a worm and attract fish and crabs. Adventurous. Octopuses are smooth and sleek, perfect for gliding through water. The algae octopus, Abdopus aculeatus, is also able to leave its watery home and walk on land. It uses the suckers on its arms to pull its slippery body over sand and rocks as it moves from tide pool to tide pool searching for food. and utterly tenacious. After laying her eggs, a mother octopus guards them from predators. She stays by their side and day and night, waving her arms to move currents of fresh oxygenated water over them. For many octopuses, this brooding time lasts month, months. But for the deep sea octopus, Granilodon pacifica, or as previously known, Granilodon boreo pacifica, brooding may continue for years because their eggs develop more slowly in the cold deep sea water. Soon after they hatch, the exhausted mother dies of starvation. Behold, the marvelous octopus only lives a short time. But until the very end, the doting, a doting mother carefully tends to her precious clutch of eggs. And soon, brave new hatchlings each set off all alone to make their own homes in the sparkling seas. A newly hatched octopus is quite independent. It is able to swim, feed itself, and even create ink. Though many hatchlings are eaten by predators, those that survive later set up their own dens where they happily live alone. An octopus usually lives from six months to five years, depending on the species. Though an octopus life is not very long, it's always full of adventure. Here's a young Granelodone pacifica. Ah, and here's more about the amazing octopus you can read on your own. and acknowledgments. Sincere thanks to Janet Voigt, PhD, Associate Curator, Life Sciences Division, Nagani Integrative Research Center at the Field Museum in Chicago for reviewing and vetting the contents of this book. And, ooh, more resources to learn about octopuses. Hmm, cool. That was... Behold the Octopus by Suzanne Slade and Thomas Gonzalez. And this is EDU Kids Space. Subscribe for more stories, books, and lessons. Hit the bell button so you're notified when I put out new videos. And if you want to support the channel, click the Patreon link in the video description. Thank you for watching.